They all got into John is back in Jesus. Hold on everybody, I'm gonna go through the surface of the ocean, up, up, up into the sky. I'm gonna jump so high as just a dolphin can do. And they all grabbed on around her and she says, here we go at supersonic speed. <laughs> Drops through the surface of the water, up, up, up. And then she yells, Goldie, where are you? And then Goldie, the golden eagle, came down with wings soaring, diving down. She says, catch them! And they all go, ah! They really went, yeah. And they safely landed on Goldie's back. Woo! Wow, what an adventure this turns out to be. And then Goldie says, look out for a rainbow, guys. Let's go find a rainbow. And they look this way, and that way, and this way, and that way. <gasps> and then right in front of them, they saw it. the most beautiful rainbow shining in the sky and then Goldie says get ready guys I'm gonna drop you at the top of the rainbow what what is gonna happen to us he says don't worry it's just like the slide at your playground at school and he says one two three they went through the air and they landed on top of the rainbow wow and then they started sliding down like a rainbow roller coaster Oh my goodness, isn't that exciting, Princess Pudding? Oh my goodness, I would be so scared. I'm afraid of heights. Ah! And then they, got, they, they went all the way down. It was very exciting for them, unlike for me. But they loved it. And then when they got to the bottom, there stood the Unicorn King. <gasps> the Unicorn King, Queen Pudding. A real king. I am a real king. Really, it's true. Then. The king of the unicorn said, what are you doing at my rainbow? And oh, bless his heart, poor little pony was so shy to speak to the unicorn king. He didn't want to speak and he was like a little shy, but they pushed him forward and then they said, oh, oh, hi your majesty, um, unicorn king. I just always wanted to be a unicorn all my life and I want to learn, do you have a unicorn school I could go to? And the Unicorn King said, Ha ha! We only have one test. If you want to become a unicorn, you have to drink a rainbow. Drink a rainbow? How is that possible? Because the rainbow is magical and it transforms magical powers to the one who can drink a full rainbow. But you have to do it in five seconds. Otherwise, you'll never Unicorn. Oh, oh, he was so excited, but also so nervous and scared. But then his friends really encouraged him and said, Go, pony, go! Go, pony, go! Oh, they are such great friends. They said, God, we believe in you. We believe in you. You can do it. Then he says, Okay, oh, I'm going to do it. And then King says, Ready, steady, go! And he started drinking on the one end. When he got halfway through, he was becoming so full because it was a magical rainbow and the power became so much for him. He couldn't drink anymore. And it was like, five, four, three. And then the little girl said, I believe in you, pony. And that was just the words he needed, the encouragement from his friends. And he said, nobody has ever believed in him so much than this little girl. And he said, I'm gonna do it. And then he just, with his last breath and his last Slurp! He slurped the rest of the rainbow inside of him. Three, two, one! And he got bestowed with magic and he started to turn into a shiny, glistening, glittery unicorn. And everybody's like, oh yay, we're so happy! Oh my god! So happy that his dream came true to become a unicorn. And then the Unicorn King said, okay, now be responsible with your magic, little unicorn. You still have lots to learn. And he just says, thank you, your majesty. And then the king said, because you are such great friends, I will bestow a little bit of rainbow magic inside everybody's heart. So he took some of that rainbow magic and he put it inside the girl's heart. And a little bit in Teddy's heart. And a little bit into Goldie, the golden eagle's heart. Wow, they felt so special. And he said, friendship 
is the most important thing. When friends believe in each other, you can do anything, okay? Whenever you need help in the future, call your friends and we're together! Because magic happens when we work together, right? And we all have a little bit of that rainbow magic in our hearts. Uh oh, it's almost dark, you better get home! And I jumped on Goldie and Goldie was supersonic speed! Whoosh! Took them home, delivered them right to their doorstep. But right there, in front of her front door, was a white round ball. Was it a snowball? Was it a basketball? Was it some kind of magic ball? Oh, it started to glow. Green, orange, red, silver, gold, purple. It cracked open. And there was a little baby dragon. It was a baby dragon's egg. And the dragon looked at the little girl and said, kir, 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 kir. Are you my mommy? Of course it's no. I'm not a mommy, I'm a little girl. And then the little baby dragon says, You are my mommy. And then Teddy says, Just say yes, just say yes. Let's go to sleep. I'm tired. Let's go inside. And he says, Okay, little baby dragon, I'll be your mommy. And she took him and held him in her arms like a little baby and went inside. And her mom said, You can be so lucky that you are home before dark. Now go to your room and sleep, because tomorrow you have to go to people's school. Yes, mommy. Thank you for letting me go to the mermaid school. We found it. I was mermaid for a day. Mommy says, I'm glad. Now you have to learn how to count. Oh, mommy, that's so boring. So mommy says, OK, but you can take your friends to school. <gasps> yes, the little dragon can go to school. The talking teddy bear can go to school. And Goldie can go to school with you. Oh, and your friends can play during break time with all your magic friends. Yay! Oh! They were so happy. They went inside a room, got in bed and cuddled together. Good night, everybody, they said. Good night, little girl, they said to her. And that's the end of the mermaid school story. Now, let me just call Mr. Myers. Can you guys remember the magic word? Abracadabra. You gotta say it with me. Oh, hi, Mr. Myers. Are you ready to come back? Okay. Ready, steady, go. Abracadabra! Ha! Oh! Wow! Wow, that was amazing. I went to a magical place and oh, the story, I could hear every word. That was a great story, but finding a mermaid school. I'm gonna go. Shall we go one day and find it? Yes! Oh, I love this story too. Okay, well, boys and girls, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed King Purple telling the story, but next time I'm gonna tell the story because I love stories and we all love stories. Hey, don't you forget to like this video, share it with your friends, share it with mommy and daddy, with grandma and grandpa, they're gonna love it. Okay, yeah, share it with your teddy bears, your teachers and classmates. Yeah, we want everybody to feel the power and imagination of stories, because stories make us feel good. All right, all right, goodbye. I'm gonna go back to sleep. Oh, so tired.